Hi, welcome to our channel all about home electronics. In this video, we'll quickly show you how to connect a PlayStation to a receiver using an HDMI cable. We're also going to show you setting adjustments that you may need to make. If you're not already a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button at the bottom right of this video. We publish videos all the time. You'll automatically be notified when we put out a new tip. We're going to begin right after this. Now we're taking a look at the back of the PS4 and the back of the receiver. The method that we're showing you is going to work even if you're connecting an older PlayStation to a receiver using HDMI. This is important. If you're connecting a PS4 Pro which passes along 4K content ultimately to your display, you'll absolutely want to use an HDMI high-speed cable, not just any old HDMI cable. Now, with the PS4, they include an HDMI cable, which is a high-speed cable. And, I don't know if you can see that on your video screen, but it says high-speed cable right on the cable. We want to use the HDMI that came with the PlayStation, which is a high-speed HDMI, and plug it into that port right there. If you happen to have just bought an HDMI cover, take the plastic protective cover off of it, line it up properly, and then seat it in the port. Now we're zoomed in to the HDMI ports on the back of our receiver. Your receiver is going to look different, but you'll have HDMI ports probably. Now this particular receiver is 4K compatible. Not all receivers are 4K compatible. This is an important distinction. If you're connecting a PS4 Pro or better, you'll probably want to connect it to a 4K compatible HDMI port. On the back of this receiver, there are three of them. There's an additional two legacy HDMI connectors for older style HDMI equipment. Now, <clears throat> what we're going to do, this is not a PS4 Pro. It does not output 4K content. So we're going to connect it to a legacy HDMI port because I want to keep the 4K compatible ports open for 4K compatible equipment that I might connect in the future. So we're going to connect the other end of that HDMI high-speed cable to HDMI port 4 on the back of the receiver. Again, line your HDMI connector up and then place it in the slot. We've zoomed into the HDMI output on the back of the receiver and now we need to make an appropriate connection between the receiver and our television. Again, if you're connecting a PS4 Pro, you'll want to make sure that your HDMI is a high-speed version 2.0 or better cable. Otherwise, with a PlayStation Pro, you won't be able to see the 4K content on your display. If this is not a PlayStation Pro, and it's just a PS4 or lower, the HDMI cable won't necessarily matter. Now, you've zoomed in and you see that this HDMI output is both 4K compliant, HDCP 2.2, and it's ARC. So, I'm going to use a high-speed cable anyway. You'll have to have a second HDMI cable. If you purchase that, again, take the plastic covers off, line up the connectors, and put it in the slot. Now we're taking a close look at the connection points on the back of this particular Vizio TV. There are two HDMI ports. Your TV's probably going to look different but there's a pretty good chance you'll have some HDMI ports back there as well. One HDMI port is not labeled ARC, and the other one is labeled ARC. Now, if you'll recall, when we connected to the back of the receiver, that was an HDMI ARC output, audio return channel. So for this example, we're going to connect to HDMI port 1, which is ARC enabled, 
but you don't have to do that when you're connecting your PS4 or your PS4 Pro or any other PlayStation for that matter. The reason we're doing it in this example is because the receiver is ARC enabled. Now connect the other end of that HDMI wire from the receiver into HDMI port 1 on the back of this TV. Now that we made all the proper HDMI wiring connections, we powered up the receiver, we powered up the PlayStation, and we turned the TV on. Let's adjust some of the settings to make sure we see the picture and that the audio is correct. But using the TV remote that came with the TV, we press the input or source button and toggle to HDMI 1. After a brief moment to refresh, we now see the Yamaha image projected onto the TV. However, the Yamaha input is set to tuner, and we need it to be set to HDMI 4, because that's what we plug the PlayStation into. Using the remote control that comes with the Yamaha receiver, or using a button on the face of your receiver, change the input to where you plugged your PlayStation into. It takes a moment for the image to refresh onto the TV, but now we see the PlayStation. Now let's take a quick look at audio settings in the PlayStation. We'll go over to settings, and then we're going to go down to sound and screen, and we're going to go to audio output settings. We're going to select audio format. Depending upon your receiver, that will determine which format you'll want to use. For the example receiver we're using, we're recommending Bitstream DTS over the other two. Next, HDMI audio output. Currently it's set at 5.1, which is what a lot of surround sound receivers are. The surround sound receiver in the example is 7.1, so we're selecting that. I zoomed in close to the face of the receiver. Your receiver is going to look different, but it'll probably have some similar options. Notice it says two channel stereo. That's not necessarily what we're going to want, but it will depend on your particular receiver. I want to change that to a surround sound automatic decoding so that whatever signal is coming, whatever audio signal is coming out of the PlayStation, my receiver is automatically going to process it. If you have questions about how to do other things with your PlayStation, post them in the comments below the video. That finishes out the video for how to connect your PlayStation to a receiver using HDMI. Don't forget to check out our other videos. If this helped you, please give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, have a great day.